Hi, Denise Brown with Freeman. Thanks for joining. We've partnered with Emerald to bring you a series of short videos to share best practices that you can put to use for your upcoming event. Creating meaningful in-booth engagements relies heavily on designing your exhibit around your business goals and choosing the right solution for your brand. Hopefully you've had an opportunity to watch the episode on strategy and how to identify your target audience. If you haven't, please click on the link below to view it. Let's shift the focus to translating attendee needs into an in-booth experience that will encourage interaction. Some exhibitors may choose to organize their booth by products. Instead, try organizing by booth solution. Attendees may not know your product, but they know the problem they're trying to solve for. So the point is be as intentional as possible. Think about the first thing that you want potential customers to see. And don't forget about existing clients. Think about a VIP experience or provide them an educational area where they can get help and learn more about other solutions. Creating unique experiences through augmented reality, games, demos, and other interesting experience is a great way to attract attendees. These activities can be used to identify the attendee's personal needs and spur deeper conversations in the booth, which brings us to staffing. Take time to assemble a mix of expertise across your organization and make sure their talents align with the booth's objectives. Since your attendees' interests run the gamut, so should your team. Consider including product development and customer service team members in addition to sales teams. And if you are seeking leads and or contact information for a drip campaign, consider renting lead retrieval. Or if that's not within your budget, a simple fishbowl that houses business cards for a free giveaway is also another great way to gather contact information. A good rule of thumb is one staff member per 100 square feet of open working space as a minimum. Consider breaking your team up into groups like greeters, those that are social and outgoing and can easily strike conversation. Qualifiers, those that can easily assess a customer's need or potential needs. Experts, technical experts that know your products very well. And then floaters, those that can do a little bit of everything. If you don't have enough staff for greeters or crowd gatherers, let us know. We can help with that. Finally, know your exhibit etiquette. We've got a list of yays and nays here. Be approachable. Stand at the edge of your booth using open body language. No crossed arms and look visitors in the eye, but not until it's creepy. Be attentive, listen, just as you would if you were on a date, because let's be honest, doing business is a lot like dating, am I right? Stay off your phone and avoid side conversations with fellow colleagues. Don't sit and definitely don't eat in your booth. And above all, carry breath mints, don't chew gum, or don't do anything else they wouldn't allow you to do in grade school. And lastly, ditch the hard sell, as I've never known it to be an effective tool in the long run. Keep your focus on solving attendee challenges and creating opportunities. Hope you found these tips helpful and thanks for joining. To learn more about this and all the topics covered in this series, visit the Goodreads collection on the First Time Exhibitors tool page.